Singapore uh, grant approval for us to export in July 2017. After a few trial runs, we were actually exporting in earnest by November 2017. So we are meeting their veterinary import conditions, uh, which actually is quite stringent. And the fact that uh, Sarawak is free from foot and mouth disease, which is a prerequisite for international trade, that's why we are able to export. As of today, I think we have made about 362 consignments to Singapore, close to about 300,000 pigs now. A uh, smaller vessel take in about 700 per trip and a larger vessel can take anything up to 2,000 per head uh, per trip, meaning about 2,005 to 2,007 per, per week. The average weight of a poker is 1,050 ringgit per 100 kilogram. So one head is around 1,000 ringgit. We have abundant tract of land in Sarawak and uh, we are able to have this big farming area in an area which is quite secluded quite far from uh, population growth centres. Uh. It's a very good biosecurity area uh, to be able to do big production in that. PFA has a um, perimeter fencing, so it's um, literally just like a fence that goes all around and that just helps to keep um, what's outside outside and what's inside in. We have changing facilities, so um, places where uh, the workers can shower and change into um, farm attire. We have quite a few um, disinfection stations whereby we can um, disinfect and get our uh, lorries and vehicles clean before they enter the farm. So the modern farming that we have, we adopt is mostly just um, automation, use, using um, modern technologies, modern equipment. So all our, all our houses in there are closed houses with their own um, ventilation and cooling system and um, with automated feeders as well in most of them. We only import raw materials and then we do all the milling, we do all the um, processing ourselves in our own feed mill and then we just send it straight to the pigs. Fertility Lab helps us to um, process semen to, for semen storage and also to check the quality of the semen. Uh, we also breed our own replacements, so basically what this means is basically if, um, if we need more um, sows, we just get in the semen and then breed the, breed the um, pigs ourselves, raise the pigs and then treat them as our replacement breeding herd. Our own water treatment plant which sort of falls under biosecurity because then we get to treat our water to make sure that we don't get um, polluted or like contaminated water, drinking water for our pigs. Our waste gets um, discharged into, the bio, into our biogas plants where it gets like processed into get biogas and into um, sort of fertilizer byproducts. The impact on the environment is not as big as traditional farms. And on site also we have an abattoir uh, that will slaughter all the pigs produced in that area. Uh, it's state of the art abattoir actually uh, with uh, 1,200 capacity per day. It's an international standard abattoir which is also approved uh, by the Malaysian government under the Veterinary Health Mark Scheme. So with this uh, accreditation, we can actually export to any part of the world. Certified as ASF uh, compartmentalization free, both by the Department of Veterinary Service Malaysia and uh, Singapore Food Authority. What that basically means is that our SOPs, our procedures and our um, biosecurity and surveillance measures are robust enough to prevent ASF from entering PFA. That entitled us to continue continuously export our safe uh, poker or live pig to Singapore. Yeah. Another farmer, a Chenyan farm I believe, uh, they have the uh, breed, uh, they call the Berkshire breed. Another name for it, they call it the Kurubata breed. Yeah. Kurubata breed uh, produces pork which is supposed to be healthier. The pork coming from black pigs are more flavorful and uh, tender. Grobuta breed from our farm, they are red topamine and antibiotic free. So instead of giving antibiotics to the hogs, uh, we give them probiotics for the antibodies. And also we have included flaxseed in, the, in their feed, uh, so that the meat is rich in omega-3. The main benefit is the anti-inflammation. So definitely uh, as a healthy choice, healthy food and pork, Definitely, there's a place in Singapore market and even beyond Singapore market. Southeast Asian region uh, is, has a population of about 600 million. I think majority of them are pork consumers. Uh. China is a huge market, a one over a billion kind of population. They consume something like uh, more than 40 million metric tons of pork a year. And averagely, per person, uh, the consumption is around 24 uh, kilos of pork each year. Even in Singapore, 
we are talking about per person about 22 kg a year. I recall that the requirement for Singapore is like 5,000 heads of pigs per day. Uh, that's huge. Uh, in fact, we are only producing maybe about 5% of Singapore market at the current time. And very importantly, because Jakarta is going to move uh, in the near future, so it's better to start now and to supply them because uh, there will be a, a population boom in Kalimantan they need this pork. At the moment, they import from us. But if we have a lot more to offer, I'm sure uh, Kalimantan is another huge uh, market besides Singapore. Basically, Sarawak, as I understand, we have more than uh, 70 small uh, pig farmers who we can work with. They are currently still outside the pig farming area. They are facing some challenges in terms of raising capital. So I believe uh, investors can come in to help in the finance and also to bring in a modern technology and move into the pig farming area, which is a central uh, and controlled area for pig farming. Because we have another two areas to be developed, namely in, in central region. And we have one uh, in the southern region. So we do have incentive, for example, uh, the, 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 the tax uh, incentive. We also have uh, like the, the tariff, the electricity and water, which is cheaper. In Sarawak, we have uh, resources available. Please come and explore Sarawak as an alternative source uh, of supply for live pigs and also uh, pork.